My rich dad, on the other hand, spent his life doing his best to keep his companies from becoming unionized. I would say that life is the best teacher of all. Most of the time, life does not talk to you. It just sort of pushes you around. Each push is life saying, wake up. There's something I want you to learn. Pay your brokers well. The power of good advice sometimes I see people posting a sign in front of their house that says, for sale by owner. Or I see people on TV claiming to be discount brokers. My rich dad taught me to take the opposite approach. He believed in paying professionals well, and I have adopted that policy also. Today, I have expensive attorneys, accountants, real estate brokers, and stock brokers. Why? Because if, and I do mean if, the people are professionals, their services should make you money. And the more money they make, the more money I make. The human spirit is very, very powerful, he would say. It knows it can do anything. They ask me, can you tell us how to make more money? They don't understand that their trouble is really how they choose to spend the money they do have. My capital gains of approximately $40,000 were placed into a 1,031 tax-deferred exchange. God does not need to receive, but humans need to give. In an educated society with a well-run government, prices should actually come down. He encouraged us to work with people smarter than we were and to bring smart people together to work as a team. Today it would be called a synergy of professional specialties. People are trainable. They can be trained to be either employees or entrepreneurs. The other believed in total financial self-reliance. Kim and I own several thousand cash-flowing apartment properties, commercial properties, a luxury hotel, a boutique hotel, five golf courses, and oil wells. Every year we add more assets like those to our financial statement and pay less in taxes. Today, people are more aware of the growing divide between the rich and everyone else. Between 1993 and 2010, over 50% of the increase in the national income in the United States went to the wealthiest 1%. Since then, things have only gotten worse. Economists at the University of California found that 95% of the income gains between the years 2009 and 2012 also went to that wealthiest 1%. The lesson, the increases in income are going to entrepreneurs and investors, not to employees not to the people who work for money. Communication skills such as writing, speaking, and negotiating are crucial to a life of success. Rule number one in paying yourself first is, don't get into consumer debt in the rest place. The poor and middle class work for money, he would say. The rich make money. The more real you think money is, the harder you will work for it. If you can grasp the idea that money is not real, you will grow richer faster. The more you develop your financial intelligence which takes time the more opportunities will be offered to you. Incomparable leadership skills according to Kiyosaki, the money does not really go to the companies with the best products in the market. 
it goes to the company with the best leaders. Always try to develop your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual capabilities in order to lead your business to its success. The word emotion stands for energy in motion. Be truthful about your emotions and use your mind and emotions in your favor, not against yourself.